Hey, Purpose Factory community, let's talk about it. I want to address how we turn lemons into lemonade. And that's just a phrase just to really embody when things aren't going according to plan, where you're in a current state of being or mindset that doesn't serve you well, doesn't bring you true peace and happiness. And when we're moving forward in our life, let's agree that we are feeling happier. We're feeling joy because we're progressing. We're feeling like we're moving towards our life that we want. But what happens when we have plans, aspirations, and they just, you know, they get thwarted by life, you know, just for example, you know, we've been going through this pandemic and when they came up with the vaccination, a lot of people were going back and forth whether they're going to take it or not. A lot of people that chose to do it allowed for the governmental officials to start to, you know, lift bans. People were starting to congregate and assemble again, go out again, get a flow of life, travel again. You know, I being one of them, you know, I started to travel and move around more, seeing that, you know, it was a better chance of me not actually dying now that I'm around people from this thing. So that was moving along in a certain pace and way a couple months ago, even in, in retrospect to my business. You know, I felt like I was going to be able to get back into brick and mortar and be in front of people because I really feel like although virtual is something really cool, there's nothing like person to person interaction when you're actually in the building with people and get to really see and feel all their nonverbal cues uh, firsthand. So I was looking forward to that. But seeing that, you know, this other variant of this COVID has come up, you see a lot of government officials retracting a lot of their earlier statements a couple months ago saying we were free to just move about without the mask and, you know, go places without masks. You start to see businesses being affected. You know, certain businesses are stipulating that masks have to be worn again. Definitely still social distancing going on, you know, and it's just a tug of war because there's a there's a large amount of people that aren't vaccinated and then there's a larger part that are. And there's no, really no way to govern that, you know, so we don't really know how this is truly affecting us, but it's always affecting the way that we move forward in our life and our plans because we can have a certain train of thought. But then if the government officials say that we're not able to do that or that's not accessible to us right now, we can't do certain things, then what are we left to do? You know, we have to we have to adjust our thought process, our plans. And sometimes if you are only thinking about or your business is, you know, um, based around actual interaction with people, you need people to be in the building at your business for it to flourish. There's certain businesses that need people in the building. You can't have a restaurant virtually. You know what I mean? Like you have to have people coming into your place. You can't have a, a hair salon or a barbershop virtually. You have to have people walking into your doors to make that flourish. So there's certain companies and businesses that are being affected by these decisions. And I'm just saying it can be really depressing if you're just starting out trying to get your flow, your money flow coming in through this business and idea that you have. Um, and how do you feel about that? You know, schools are just talking about going back to school. Kids weren't going to wear masks. Now kids are being told they have to wear masks in school. It's just parents are going back and forth about that. I'm hearing like there some parents are feeling like, why my kid have to wear a mask? Other parents are feeling like they should. It's just, it's a lot, you know, and I just want to bring awareness to it because I feel like it's going on in all our communities, you know, all across the, uh, the country right now. And, um, and I'm being wind of it, so I want to speak about that. What do we do when things don't work out the way that we want them to? We make lemonade out of these lemons. We don't stop. We keep progressing. We keep on finding new and innovative ways to still get our message, get our purpose, get whatever we're trying to achieve for our plans out there and done. We don't stop, you know? And that's what I encourage you to do. Don't stop. Don't quit. You know, readjust and then still move forward. You know, because at some point, you know, sometimes growing pains is necessary and needed to even further you. Sometimes that stretch to have to realize, how do I make these lemons into lemonade? That stretch of your mind, of, of, of your abilities is beneficial to you because you realize certain strengths that you didn't even have before you were tested this way. So invite them in the change and adjustment of having to move forward and change and adjust the way that your uh, business is or the way you outlook on your aspirations and dreams. Don't be afraid of change and don't be uh, let down so much by uh, things that don't work out the first time or don't work out the first way. Make lemonade out of those lemons. All right. So that's my motivation for today. I hope it helped. Like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you're feeling. 
And I'll see you on the next one.